A reading from Joel, chapter 2, verse 13. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. To those Israelites wandering away from faith, to those Israelites wandering away from a life of service to God and others in love, the prophet Joel proclaimed, Stop. Return to the Lord your God. That's where real life is. That's where your future is with God. Return to Him. Now we, the people of God, chosen in baptism, are prone to turning away from God like the Israelites in Joel's day were prone. Our sinful nature encourages us to turn away from God. It does this by encouraging us to make our thoughts, our reason, our feelings, our desires more important than God. The world's culture encourages this kind of idolatry of self, as does the devil. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus condemned the idolatry of self when he called to repentance those who give to the needy desiring only to be honored by others. He called to repentance those who pray, desiring only to be seen by others. He called to repentance those who fast, desiring only to put on a show for others. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus condemned the idolatry of self. The call to us from Joel and from Jesus is repent, turn away from sin, keep God more important than yourself, make others more important than yourself. Repent, turn to Christ in faith and to the neighbor in love. Sometimes the best questions we could ask as Christians is, how can I serve God today? How can I serve others? in love today. And remember that the command to repent, to return to the Lord, comes with gracious, life-giving promises. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending hellish calamity down upon us. Your Savior, Jesus Christ, is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he suffered a hellish calamity and forsakenness upon the cross in your place as your substitute to pay for the guilt of all your selfishness. His blood is your cleansing. His death is your life. You can trust God's biblical wisdom. Return to the Lord your God. Because of the cross of Christ, he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love for you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you full pardon and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.